Hello, and welcome to Spoiler Alert, where I tell you how something was that isn't yet. This week we're looking at the upcoming Netflix show Marvel's Daredevil. And if you're wondering why his costume doesn't have any eye holes, well, funny story about that. See, you know how the Ninja Turtles got their powers from radioactive sludge? Well, so did Matt Murdock when he became the Daredevil, except he got it applied directly to his eyeballs. And unlike something sensible happening, like getting x-ray vision or heat rays from his eyes, uh, he just got blinded. Which strikes me as unfair. I mean, that would be like if when Peter Parker got bitten by that radioactive spider, instead of getting superpowers in the spider sense, he just got the worst bug bite of all time. Not to say that he didn't get a few superpowers out of it, Daredevil's other senses went through the roof, which meant that with a little training, he was all set to become a certified superhero. Cue Master Stick, because evidently Master Carrot was busy. Some wax on, wax off with the stick, and the Daredevil was born, all ready to patrol the streets of New York and dole out justice. Because unlike the police, he doesn't see race. Or anything, really. Heroes need something to do during the day, though, so mild-mannered Matt Murdock became a lawyer. I guess he thought he was doing too much good as a hero. This is where he meets his romantic interest, Karen Page. And nothing against her personally, but I've seen the crowd she runs with, and that girl's going no place good. Still, a superhero is worth only as much as his supervillain, and luckily for him, his villain is really expensive. It's the Kingpin, played by Vincent D'Onofrio, who stole Mitt Romney's superpower of just being stupidly wealthy. Yes, the Kingpin has his invisible hand in a lot of pockets, and it's up to the Daredevil to sniff out where it is so that he can release the grip it has on the city official's balls. Then, if we're lucky, he might do the same about Wall Street. Now, you may notice that this is significantly more mundane than fighting aliens in Times Square, and that's on purpose. The Daredevil is the first in a new line of superheroes for the Marvel Cinematic Universe aimed at taking on more street-level crime. They're going to be called the Defenders, and this is obviously because Marvel saw some sort of demand for more boring villains than the ones they had in Phase 2. Go figure. Still, I can't see Daredevil lasting very long on this team. Nothing against him personally, but if they're just trying to fill some handicap slot on their team to fulfill diversity requirements, it's going to be tough to beat their other candidate, Toph Beifong. So that's it for this week's spoiler alert. Please tell me what you want reviewed in advance next in the comments down below. And until next time, don't say I didn't warn you.